फीचर्स ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर्स परमनंट कैपिटल द अमाउंट इन्वेस्टेड बाय इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर्स इज परमनंट कैपिटल फॉर द बिजनेस इट इज नॉट रिपेबल टू द इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर ड्यूरिंग द टेन ईयर ऑफ द कंपनी द कैपिटल इज टू बी रिपेड बाय द कंपनी ओनली इन इवेंट ऑफ द वाइंडिंग अप ऑफ द कंपनी सो इक्विटी प्रोवाइड्स अ परमनंट कैपिटल अ लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन equity share holders under certain rights they have the right to get share in profit the share in profit which is distributed among the equity share holders is called dividend thus equity share holders have a right to get a share of profit of the company equity share holders also have a right to vote they have a right to vote and elect board of directors of the company board of directors of the company run the business on behalf of the equity shareholders they also have a right to vote for amendment of the memorandum as well as articles of association equity shareholders are the owners of the company and hence they have the right to inspect the books of accounts of the company any time they also have the right to transfer their shares equity share capital is not repayable during the tenure of the company the capital of equities is paid back only at the time of winding up of the company however if any shareholder wants to transfer his shares he can do so this right to transfer the shares is one of the most important rights of the shareholders every equity shareholder has a right to receive a share in profits of the company this share in the profit of the company is called as dividend however this dividend is not fixed this dividend is not awarded at a fixed rate to the shareholders the dividend paid to equity shareholders depends upon the profit of the company if the company makes good profit then equity shareholders get good dividends however if company doesn't make any profit or makes very less profit chances are that equity shareholders may not even get the dividend so the dividend is dividend amount is very fluctuating in nature thus the returns that equity shareholders get on their investment in the company are fluctuating in nature no preferential rights equity shareholders do not have any preferential rights unlike preference shares in case of preference shares the dividend is fixed and is paid before the dividend is paid to the equity shareholders equity shareholders are the last to receive the dividend out of the profits made by the company the company first pays interest on external loans so interest on external loans is first paid after that preference dividend is given dividend is paid on the preference shares and only after that the equity shareholders get the dividend so if no profit is left after giving dividend to preference shareholders then equity shareholders won't get any dividend similarly at the time of winding up of the company the proceeds received from sale of assets of the company are first used to pay off the external liabilities once the external liabilities are paid then the preference share capital is repaid once the amount has been repaid to preference shareholders after that the equity shareholders can get their capital thus equity shareholders are the last when it comes to payment of dividend or when it comes to repayment of the capital at the time of the winding up of the company risk takers equity shareholders are the ones who take the maximum risk in the company the dividend to equity shareholders is paid at the last after repayment of interest on external liabilities and after paying dividend to preference shareholders similarly the capital repayment also happens at the last to equity shareholders at the time of closure of the business the amount received by selling the assets of the company is first used to repay the external liabilities then the repayment of preference share capital is made and only after that 
equity shareholders can get their capital. Thus, they are the true risk bearers of the company. Equity shareholders control the company. Control of the company lies in the hands of equity shareholders. This is because they have the right to vote. They have the right to elect board of directors who control the company, manage the company on behalf of equity shareholders. Thus, equity shareholders are the ones who have control over the company. Residual claimants. Equity shareholders are residual claimants. This is because the dividend is paid to equity shareholders only after the interest of all external liabilities is paid and after the preference dividend has been given. The profits of the company are first utilized to pay off interest on all external loans liabilities and then it is utilized to pay off the dividend of the preference shares and the dividend to equity shareholders is paid only out of the remaining amount. Again, in case of finding above the company, they are the last one to receive the payment. In case of winding up or closure of the company, the amount received by the company by selling off its assets is first utilized to pay off all outside liabilities, outside loans. Then the amount is paid to preference shareholders and if there is anything left after paying off the preference shareholders, then the remaining amount is paid to the equity shareholders. Thus, they are the residual claimants in the company. Eligible for bonus or rights issue. The equity shareholders are eligible to get bonus shares and rights shares. Bonus shares are the shares which are given to equity shareholders by the company out of the profits accumulated by the company. Bonus shares are given free of cost. Generally, the profit made by the company is not completely distributed among the equity shareholders as a dividend. Generally, a part of profit is kept aside by the company and only a part of profits is distributed as a dividend among the equity shareholders. The bonus shares are given free of cost to equity shareholders out of these accumulated profits. The profits which company accumulates over the period of time is utilized to give bonus shares to the existing shareholders. Equity shareholders also get the benefit of the rights issue. What is rights issue? Whenever the company requires additional capital for expansion of business or for any other reasons, they may decide to raise those funds by issue of equity shares. Thus, they may issue more shares to raise further capital. In such circumstances, companies generally give existing shareholders the right to buy those shares. These shares are not given to the shareholders free of cost. This is called as a rights issue. Thus, under rights issue, the first option for buying the shares is given to the existing shareholders. Under rights issue, the option to buy the shares is first given to the existing shareholders.